Hey, this is Kevin with CreativeOrange.com and I'm here to show you our uh, new retouch palette, Retouch Me. It's actually the old Vosch retouch palette and we renamed it for CS6 and added a whole bunch of stuff to it. And I'm going to take you through and show you exactly how it works because I think a lot of you don't know exactly what it is and it's literally probably the coolest piece of software that we've ever done. Um, we use it every day in the studio. Like when Essie started as an intern, I literally sat down with her and within an hour I had her retouching um, just by using Retouch Palette because all the settings were there and stuff. And there's a couple other Retouch Palettes out there but none of them have something to rack through a bunch of images like uh, Retouch Me has. Um, so. Let's take a look and see what it does. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into um, Retouch Me here. So the first thing you want to do, if you, if you look at the palette, you've got, these are your processing stuff to just kind of set up your folders. Then you've got your retouching tools here. And then below this are your actions, or different actions, vintage actions, color pop actions. And then you can set up your own actions if you want. We'll show that in another video. Today we're just going to show you just how to go through and set up and just start retouching. So first thing you want to do is select your folder. We're going to go ahead and browse to our folder. We're going to go to wedding, click open. Okay. And then I'm going to save, use an output folder. So I'm going to go ahead and browse and I've already made a folder called finals here. I'm going to use that. Um, you can save it in a subfolder if you want to. From here you can pick if you want it to save to four by sixes, proofs, save for web. Um, I'm just going to use just the full size images. So I'm not going to do that. And then, if you're constantly zooming into a certain percentage when you retouch, you can set that up here. I'm going to leave mine at 25%. If you want to run an, if there's an action that you run all the time on open, you can hit this and then pull down to that action and it'll run it. Or if you want to do it on close, you can do that also. And then if you want to hit it with sharpen, that's the last thing you do after you're done retouching, you can do that. I'm just going to leave this as just a straight process. So we're just going to go there. First image opens up. Okay. And this actually looks pretty good. It's a detail image, so I'm not going to do anything to this. So from here, I'm going to hit the Save and Next button, okay? And that's going to save that image. And from, from here on out, that image is now in the Finals folder, so it's done. This one, I don't really care about. I don't want it. So I'm going to go Skip to Next. So what that did, that actually skipped that image, and it's not going to be in the final folder. So I'm actually able to call as I do this. Um, this one's really beautiful. Um, let's go ahead and let's go to some color pop. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, just hit a little bit of pop here. I think that looks a little nicer. Um, he's got some wrinkles in here, but that's okay on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this one. Save and next. And okay, now this one needs some retouching on it. First off, let's go ahead and hit a color pop on it. Bring the colors up. It was this really golden light. And now let's go ahead and use our tool here. Get rid of some stuff. Oh, we need to, oh, we've got a layer here, so we need to flatten the layer. Um, and now we can go ahead and retouch. Let's go ahead and take out a few things here. Okay, and now she's got a little bit of circles underneath her eyes here, if you notice. Um, right underneath here. So let's go ahead and go to under eyes. And it tells you right here, option key and select under the bags, then wipe away the eyes. Um, and so I'm going to make my brush size just a little bit bigger and hit option. Uh, I forget, I think it's alt on PC and then you just swipe back and forth and it just kind of softens those up. And even though this says under eyes, it's really good for just about any time there's a dark uh, crease or anything. So we can actually soften up her uh, lines right along her cheek, cheekbones there. Beautiful. And and then if we want to whiten her eyes, we go ahead and hit the uh, uh, eye whiten. And just let's just get a little bit bigger brush. And just kind of draw in there just a little bit. You want to be very light with the stuff. And let's go ahead and whiten the teeth too. And let's just use a little bit bigger, bigger brush. And I'm just using the bracket key on that. It's a hot key. Uh, for your brush sizes. I don't know if you knew that or not. And so we're good to go on this one. So we're going to hit save and next. Next one comes up. I need a little more pop in that. Hit color pop. Let's say we want to make it a black and white. Let's change it to black and white. Let's just do a standard black and white here. And we got to flatten the image first. And I kind of want a little more black and white pop on that there. Uh, and let's go ahead and save and next. 
And you can see just how easy this is to, um, to retouch stuff. It's just really, really fast. Let's bring the light of that up a little bit. Um, let's do a, let's try a vintage action on this. Let's go, uh, let's see here. Let's try desaturate and see what that does to it. Oh, that's really nice. I like this. Um, so you can see you've got all these different things available to you right here. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of, there's a couple little um, things that were in the air there. And this is really beautiful. I like this. Um, it's almost a silhouette, but not quite. And so go ahead and save and next. And you can see, you can just start racking through. If you, oh, I don't really like that one, skip to next. Uh, wait, I want to go back to that last one and check it. Skip to previous. And then if you actually do some stuff, you can step forward, step backwards here also. And uh, that's it. I mean, you literally, let's go ahead and sharpen this one. And if you want to do like an auto tone, it'll actually auto tone for you too. You can do auto contrast. It'll do that also. Uh, auto color, it'll try and adjust for your colors too. Um, and then if you, uh, let's see, what else was I going to talk about here? Oh, if you want to create your own black and white, you bring out the black and white mixer and you can actually, you know, change things up quite a bit here just by using the black and white uh, mixer on that. So there it is in a nutshell. We think it's really cool. Like I said, this is something we designed uh, for the studio and then some photographers were visiting. They're like, wow, that's really cool. And so we started selling it because um, it's just, we, just, we think it's a really cool product. So there you go and uh, retouch. Okay, so I hope you can see just how fast you can retouch with, uh, with Retouch Me. It's just amazing how you can just rack through images and you can actually call on the fly too. I mean, even if you've done your initial calling, there's times when you're going through retouching and I don't really like that one. And it's just really easy to, to call and retouch and have everything done in a matter of minutes instead of hours. So uh, check it out, creativeorange.com. Thank you.